for me, everything is in equilibrium. So I want to be successful in my career, but I also want to be successful in my family. Being a professor, it's not only one job. We have to teach and we have to do our research. A patient started to have rheumatoid arthritis when she was 24 years old. And it turned out it wasn't rheumatoid arthritis, it was actually psoriatic arthritis. And that was important for the rheumatologist because changing her diagnostic opened up new drugs. So 10 years later, that patient that was now 34 years old was walking like somebody that is 80 years old. She couldn't work anymore. The rheumatologist, knowing that we were looking at those cytokines in, in these patients, said, could you examine the profile of cytokine of that particular patient? In the laboratory, uh, within two weeks, we had those results. And we found that the patient had a huge amount of a particular cytokine. My name is Martin Pelletier. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiology, Infectious Disease and Immunology in the Faculty of Medicine of, at Université Laval. Well, my journey in science started when I was very young and I was fascinated by life and I was uh, science in general. So I feel blessed that I have a family that I love, that I, I can do what I love to do. So knowing that some people uh, are restrained, they have disease that doesn't allow them to do, to have a similar life as me, that's really driving me. I'm fascinated by the unknown. I've always been curious about finding a solution to an unmet medical need. So that patient during that time, she had all the regular symptoms that you would expect. So for the rheumatologist, it was an easy case. But after a year, nothing improved. She was progressing with her symptoms and it was very hard for her. So the in vitro gen procatoplex epidoasis can go up to 60, 80 analytes that can be analyzed simultaneously in a very small volume. If you don't have the right tools, it would take me a full month to get that information, which I can get in two hours. And we were able to figure out that in that particular case, we had one cytokine that was really abnormally secreted by the cells. And this guided us to the right biology to manage the symptom of that person. Being a, uh, a scientist is like being a student all your life. You're always learning because you're exploring the unknown. You're exploring new things. The patient was better than she used to be. And she was still young, so she was able to get pregnant. For us, this is a huge accomplishment because obviously I'm not a clinician, so I'm not doing it in a clinical point of view. I'm doing it in a research point of view. But I don't want to stop there. I want to improve that test. And I would love to help many other patients that are, that are not well controlled in their symptoms and everything. My spark comes from my curiosity. And just to think that what I can do can change the life of a patient or can, can, can bring something, uh, a new concept or a way of, of seeing things, this keeps me motivated. Well, this is why I'm doing science. I always say if I can at least help one patient, I will have succeeded in my life.